party goer. You're more of a homebody loser. And me, well, I go to everyone I'm invited to. Which is many, for your information. How did you get it anyways? Just caught a viral infection, got unlucky, or were you out in crowds, you know, sucking on sick people's faces? No? You weren't doing any of that? Oh, you must have gotten really unlucky then. I mean, it's not like you see anybody else other than me, your best friend, and what, your mom and dad? I mean, come on now. How many people do you really talk to? You only talk to me because I make you. So that's three in total. Jesus, you really are a loser. You just shut up. Honestly, I don't want to hear it. Just hearing you makes me nauseous. Is this how it feels to feel bad for somebody? I hate it. Listen, as much as I don't like you, I really don't like you sounding like that and looking like shit. So how about this? I got some medication in my backpack, and I'll give it to you for free. Um, No favors expected. As long as you take it, and, you know, you do all of your routine to get better, get some rest, and don't come to school tomorrow. Like, seriously, just take the day off, get better, don't see me, I don't care. Just lay in bed like a good little girl and get better. So that when I bully you next time, I don't have to feel bad because you're in tip-top shape to roast me back or whatever. Yeah, who knew? I actually have a heart. Believe it or not, I do not like kicking somebody when they're already down. I just like shoving them down to begin with. (laughs) Alright, here. I've got some Advil painkillers, ibuprofen, that kind of stuff. And then I've got cough medicine, um, allergy meds. Do Do you have allergies? I don't... You look like the type to have allergies. You you probably have a loser-ass immune system. Uh, Other than that... uh, Here, I've got some cough medicine. uh, NyQuil, DayQuil, that kind of stuff. It was a two-pack. I got a pretty good deal. You don't care. Um, Just take it. Put it in your backpack. I'm sure you have space. What are you going to keep in there? Other people's phone numbers? You don't have any. Okay, sorry. Yeah, just take the fucking day quill. And actually... Take my number. I know, I know. That's a turn of events. Shocker. But I would feel really bad if you just end up never getting better. So... Take the meds, take my number, and call me when you're feeling better, okay? Or text me. Shit, I don't care. Whatever. Honestly, maybe I'd rather you text me. Forget I said anything. I don't want to hear your dumbass voice anyways. (laughs) Alright, here. Just take that. Put your number in. What else do you think you're going to do with my phone? (laughs) Yeah, what's wrong with my screensaver? Oh, come on. What else am I going to set it as? A girlfriend? I've been single for a long time. On purpose. And I'm not going to stop that now. For some random dime a dozen bitch. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Just put your number in and give it back, please. Oh, surprise, surprise. I actually know how to be courteous. Yeah, full of surprises today, huh? Full of surprises and firsts. 
considering this is the first time you've probably gotten the boy's number with their consent, that is. <laughs> Are you done yet? You're taking way too long. <sighs> All right, just give it back and take these. I mean it, just take the meds, take all of them, take as many as you need, overdose on them for all I care. Well, okay, maybe don't do that, but just take them, use them, and uh, if you're not feeling better by tomorrow, then call me and I'll get you some more, okay? I mean, it's not a particularly large amount of dosages and stuff, so you might run out. I don't know. Look, it doesn't matter. Just text me, okay? I want to make sure you're doing okay. <sighs> it's not like that. Jesus. It's not like I like you. I just want to make sure that you're in peak performance before I get back to my daily routine, you know? I just, I can't stand to see you look like this. You're pale as a ghost, and... You look like you're sweating, even though it's cold. Yeah, it's like 60 degrees outside. It's raining, too. I would, I'm a little concerned that you're sweating so much. You just, you, I don't even know why you convinced yourself to go to class today. You look awful. You look really bad. Like, I know, it's like, haha, you look like shit, but come on now, you look bad, you probably feel bad too, I'm surprised you haven't thrown up today, you have thrown up today, this morning, then why are you still here, why aren't you in bed, sleeping it off, it's like the best way to get better, you know? Whatever. Just take the meds. You have my phone number now, so call me, okay? When you get better. Or, you know what? Call me tonight. Get some rest and take the meds I gave you. And then hopefully by tomorrow or, you know, by next week, at, at the very most, you'll feel a little bit better. That's the goal, right? I'm just, I'm not into you or anything. I'm just proposing a truce of sorts until you get better. Because I know that you would taunt me relentlessly if I looked like shit too. <laughs> well, the feeling is mutual. I hate your face as much as you hate my guts. So... We can agree on that and call it a day and take the meds and shove them down your fucking throat for all I care. All right, well, class is starting and I'm not letting you get in there. So, are you going to leave and go home or am I going to have to hold the door closed? To keep you out. I don't want to do that. That's annoying. And it'll bring up more questions than it's worth. But if it means you going home and getting better, I would do it. Besides, tanking your grade in this class is a personal joy of mine. So don't think I'm just doing it out of the goodness of my heart. Because I'm not. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just get out of here, okay? Call me when you're feeling better. <laughs>